Hey guys, this is my review of the Vibe Skipjack 90 kayak. I just got this last week. It's my second kayak and I absolutely love it. I do a lot of river fishing in the Chattahoochee River up in Georgia. And uh, I just thought this kayak was an awesome deal. Um, it comes with a lot of stuff that you normally have to buy separately anytime you buy a kayak. And it actually performs really well on a river. I've had it out once. I'm going to take it out again tomorrow. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. And everything you see here other than this tackle and the rope in the back and this orange thing. Other than these three items, which I can remove these. Everything else you see here comes with this kayak. So... I'm just going to go over real quick from front to back. Uh, the paddle, the Vibe Kayak, comes with the kayak. So you've got a handle in the front for carrying the kayak to where you need to go. It's got two of these hatches that have a nice seal on them and a little bag to put your stuff that you don't want rolling around on the bottom. If you have large stuff, you just simply take the bag out. No big deal. Uh, that is a really nice feature. You get this Scotty type rod holder that can be positioned in different ways. And uh, it's got this little collar here that slides over, so it'll hold onto your rod, depending on what kind of fishing rod you have. You get four of these rod holders that have caps on them. They're molded into the boat. You get these two little deals here for, I guess, tying rope off of things. You've got a handle on each side. You've got a paddle holder on each side. This is a nice paddle that came with this, too. It's, it's aluminum. It's not super lightweight or anything, but, I mean, it's it's really nice paddle for a standard paddle it's got three positions on it depending on how you like to set your blades up um, you've got the typical butt soaker seat here which comes with it you can upgrade with a thicker pad for I think like 80 bucks or something like that I'm probably gonna do that it's got all stainless steel or brass hardware um, it's got some spaces here with uh, brass inserts that are molded in I think this is for outriggers I don't use outriggers I don't do that type of fishing but it's there if you want it has six scupper holes um, two up front here two under your seat and two in the back well and by the way it comes with a scupper plug you don't have to buy them separate very cool feature another bag nice big well on the bottom it's just just awesome my other kayak I had to buy all that stuff separate and it adds up quick so in the back of the boat here, you've got another handle, you've got a plug, a drain plug, if you get water in there. I took it out last week, no issues at all with water. Um, you also get this little bag that goes on the back of the seat, which is kind of a nice feature. You can throw your stuff in there. The um, reason this boat doesn't sit good on the, or I won't say good, doesn't sit flat on the um, sawhorses here is because it's got a keel that runs the whole length of the boat. That's a great feature to have on a boat like this because that will keep the boat tracking pretty straight. It tracks very well for a nine foot boat. Typically a nine foot boat would go back and forth pretty big each time you take a paddle stroke. And this one's not that bad at all. It maybe moves four to six inches if you're really digging in, which is a phenomenal feature. Um, I could not believe how well this boat performed for such a small boat. Um, nine feet, 40, oh, I'm sorry, 32 inches wide. So it's really stable on the water. It'd be hard to tip this boat over. You'd have to be trying to or have some serious water you were going through to flip this boat. Um, so 46 pound boat, nice and light to carry. I don't even bring a kayak trolley with me. I just carry this thing down to the river. I can walk you know, 300 feet with it, no problem. Just hang on to it, take it down there. So anyway, that's my quick review of the kayak. I love it. I'm taking it out again tomorrow. I hope you guys like my review. I have another video on YouTube that uh, is from my last week's trip uh, so you can see there's some live footage of me paddling in it and some shots in the in the water of the beautiful chattahoochee river so check that out i will be doing some more videos there are not many videos on the skipjack 90 so i wanted to uh, do a few and i'll be doing some more so keep looking out for them leave me some comments in the bottom good bad ugly whatever you want to say that's fine with me that's cool we're all entitled to our opinions have a great day folks we'll see you Back to back, doing the best that we can. Doing the best.